right, guys. So our core and more. It's Pilates inspired. So a lot of deep transversus abs working. And we'll do the first half on our back, so supine position. And then we'll rotate into a prone position on our bellies where we really focus more on our back. So we're gonna do about 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds transitioning this into the next exercise, okay? You can be barefoot or wear your shoes. I like to be barefoot when I'm doing more of a Pilates class, which is what our core focus is today. But you know, shoes are fine. So we'll give everyone another minute or two to get on and set up if they need to. And I hope you guys are all having a great Tuesday. That is the day of the week, right? They all kind of blend in. Although my kids still ask for when's the weekend because they don't get screened during the week unless it's for school. Mean mommy. All right, let me get my stopwatch going. The first exercise we're gonna do is a three step chest lift. And I'll show you everything before we get started and that's what our transition is there for, okay? I remember in our Pilates practice, we're always thinking long muscles. How far can we lengthen out through something, whether it be our spine, the top of our head, through that leg on the extension, those type of exercises while maintaining a strong core. So we push into an imprint. Again, that's that flat back down into your mat or the ground, okay? Things that you practice all the time, I know. So again, it's gonna be about 15 minutes total with our stretching, so it's a nice workout. Nothing too crazy, okay? That three-step chest lift, hands go behind your head. So we lift, two, three, and release. So remember, 45 seconds on, a 15-second transition. We're gonna be in a supine position. All right, here we go, team. Lift, two, three, and down. Lift, two, three, and down. Lift, two, three, and down. Lift, two, three, push that lower back down the whole time. Yep. Lift, two, three, good job. Lift, two, three, and down. Lift, two, three. Lift, two, three. Lift, two, three. Lift, two, three. That's the way you're almost done with this first exercise. Two, three. Lift, two, three. Lift, two, three. Lift, two, three. Three, release your head down. Maybe draw those knees into your chest. I'm gonna show you what your next is. It's a long leg. Hands are behind our head. This is an oblique twist leg extension. So we twist and reach. Opposite elbow to knee with those long legs. All right, ready? Hands behind your head. Lift up, extend those legs out. Twist opposite elbow in and switch. Pushing down the whole time through that back. Now, how can I modify this? I could keep my shoulders down, okay, and just move my legs. You're still working your core, or maybe I don't lower my legs as much. Lots of options here. Do what works for you. Think long legs here for me, though. Long legs. If you can. Almost there, team. And release, hug those knees, and a break. So as I'm showing you, you stretch out and release tension. A BMX abs, so your arms are behind your head. This time, as you bring it in, it's a long leg as you extend. Think bicycle, but reverse. Okay, so here you go. Nice and slow. Now listen, if my hips are popping, you wanna adjust where that leg's pulling from. So I'm gonna bring it up slightly out wider as I bring that knee in, and I'm rotating that cross body. Keep breathing. Yes or no, are you feeling that core yet? I am, holy smokes. Almost there, release down. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're switching into quick change 
scissor. So this is a long lever with those legs. And we're gonna go one, two, and then slow, slow. And then quick, quick, slow. Okay, if you wanna add progressions, bring those hands behind your head, keep those heads lifted the whole time. So it's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Good job, keep going, keep going. So push down through that back the whole time. Okay, I know your core's heating up. You're extending into a longer break. Coming up, we're almost there. Keep going, keep pushing down. Keep those nice long legs going. You're going in five, four, three, two. Draw knees to chest, release. Rock side to side. You're doing great. You get a longer break right here, about 30 seconds. Your next supine position one is a toe tap chest lift and lower. So it's here. So you keep your chest lifted as you tap and release that leg back up. Okay, you're gonna start in five. Three, two, find that tabletop. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you add that tap. Yep, right there. So we're always coming back to that 90 degree angle. Keep those toes pointed for me. Keep that lower back pushing down the whole time. Nice and strong in your core. You're almost there, team. You're almost there. Woo, 10 seconds. Right there, hug your knees. Release tension in that back. Your last supine is a single leg bridge lift with that leg extension and lower. So it looks like this. As we press into this bridge, we're gonna extend one leg, drop and lift and switch. So we try to keep those hips lifted the whole time, okay? You're gonna start here in five. 45 seconds on, nice long arms. Go ahead, press up. Here we go. Bring it up, release, lift, and switch. Up, down, lift, and switch. Lift, lower, lift, switch, lift, lower, lift, switch, lift, lower, lift, switch. Good job. Almost there, team. You got 10 seconds. Whew. Right there. Draw those knees and your chest. Use them to help you roll up. So we're transitioning. We're going into a seated position before we go all the way into our prone position. So your legs are going to be in front of you. This is a sit. So we're nice and even on our sits position. Our feet are in a V in front of us, keeping that dorsiflexion through the bottom of them. And they're gonna stay flexed the whole time. Spine twists, arms are out long, so their shoulder are down and away from our ears. We're gonna twist, two, three, release. Twist, two, three, release. Twist, two, three, release. Twist, two, three, release. Twist, two, three, Three, think of it as wringing out a towel. You're nice and strong. Twist, two, three. Twist, two, three. Twist, two, three. Almost there. Twist, two, three. 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 Nice job. Twist, two, three. Three, one more, twist, two, three, release. Okay, so now we're going on our bellies. We're gonna start with a side bend back extension. So you're on that belly. Ooh, hi. Where's Nicole when I need her and there's a spider? Garage troubles. Okay, so we're on our belly. 
we're lifting up that head and then you twist to your side, center, side, center. So you stay lifted the whole time. Are you ready, team? We have 15 seconds, okay? In five, four, three, lift up. So you twist, center, 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 twist, center. If you want to add progressions, lift your legs, squeeze those glutes. Twist, center, twist, center. Come on team, you're almost there. You have 10 seconds. Right there, press up through those palms, sit back into your child's pose. You stay there, I'm showing you your next one. It's a side, it's a back extension, but with long arms. So I gotta turn so you can actually see it and I have enough space. So I want long arms as we lift, and then they're back long. So they stay long the whole time. Both feet lifted is an option, okay? We're gonna go in three. So lay down, long arms, here we go, lift and squeeze. So I'm keeping my feet lifted. I'm squeezing my glutes, squeezing my legs together. Keep going. That's the way. Give me 15 more seconds. So you're squeezing, extension, reach, reach those fingertips and squeezing back, opening up that chest. You got five, four, three, two, and press back into your child's pose here. All right, we got one more for me. It's a back extension but with a rhomboid lift. So your elbows stay bent the whole time. So as we're laying down, I'm gonna lift right here, squeeze and release. Maybe I lift my feet. You're going in five, four, three, two. Here we go, lift, squeeze and release. Lift, squeeze and release, lift and release, lift, and release. Good job, you guys, finish this strong. I know it's challenging, that was a lot of core and back work, and not a lot of breaks. Keep going, and release, lift, and release. Good job, good job. You have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, right there. Sink low into that child's pose. Toes together, knees apart, reach long. Let's go ahead and take that one arm and thread it through, pressing down through the opposite palm. Now your hips can be high here if that feels better to you. And release, get that other side, thread that arm through. Pushing down into that palm that's flat on the ground. And release, let's go to all fours, making sure our knees are aligned with our hips as our wrists are right below our shoulders, dropping to the chest, curve up. Releasing into a neutral position. So remember in Pilates, we're not gonna go into a full cat cow, we're gonna stop at neutral. Drop to the chest, release. Drop to the chest, and release. Two more. Good, and then gently tuck those toes as you press those hips high, pedal your feet down. Now, if that wasn't enough core for you, you can certainly repeat that the whole time or the whole thing one more time which would be a great core workout. Not that it wasn't already, but if you stayed and lifted and then did this, you're good. So it's gonna be saved on our website. Walk those toes into your feet, 
Find that forward fold, bend and straighten those knees slightly. So we'll bend and straight, bend and straight. Maybe we pedal those knees. Someday I'm gonna get my chest to my thighs. We're not there yet though. Someday people, someday. Bend those knees, you're gonna circle sweep all the way up. Side bend, sway, oh, that feels so good. And release out of shoulder rinse here, squeezing those shoulder blades together, maybe out of forward bend. Release your hands, nod your head, yes. Gently no, that CDS. Hands right above your knees and roll all the way up. Have a great rest of your day, you guys, and I'll see you soon.